Hi, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com. And uh, uh, we're still getting a chance to talk a little bit more to uh, Professor Pooch, also known as David Spangenberg. And uh, David, you there? I'm here. You Glad there? to be here. Excellent. Thanks, thanks. And uh, this time let's talk a little bit about publishing. There's a lot of folks that don't know what publishing means. Um, so uh, you, you want to give us a little uh, thumbnail sketch and some things to think about that from a, a business and legal perspective? Yeah, uh, my best way of explaining what it is, because it's a big kept secret because it's a way to make a lot of money and they don't like you to know about it. But just like the artist is a creative person and their business person is a manager, the songwriter is a creative person and the publisher you know, handles the business for the songwriter, even though the songwriter can do both sides. It's, you know, they learn a little bit. It's, it's not hard to really do. Uh, publishing, the thing that throws people off, they hear the word publishing, they think of books. Well, back in the 1800s, there were no CDs, tapes, whatever. Right. So they used to sell sheet music, and that it was, you know, printed material, and, that, and it just kept the word publishing. That's all, and it throws people off. But it's the business end of putting out songs. And the publisher's job has changed throughout the years. In the old days, the publisher basically was the person they came to to get songs for the artists, because the artists didn't write their own songs, you know, back in the old days. Yeah, back when you, even as soon as, as recently as back when you and I were young, we would go to the publishing company to shop our songs to uh, existing uh, artists, right? changed with that is when I started out, I could uh, sing poorly and play worse and show them something on a piano, and they could say, oh, yeah, I could do this, we could do this with this song, blah, blah, blah. Nowadays, they want basically a full production just to sell a song where they can just plop somebody's voice in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, now, when you're, when you're uh, shopping demos and that kind of thing, one of the things I've thought of is if I've aimed, aimed it to a particular artist, to make it absolutely sound like that artist. Is that uh, a mistake? You're exactly 100% right. Uh, it, you should have somebody, a friend, whoever sounds closest to that artist. Uh, you know, but there's several points there. But don't give a song to an artist that it doesn't fit, no matter how great the song is. It could be a great song, but it doesn't fit that artist. You, remember, you only get one chance to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. And if they, if you, you know, if you give them a song that's pretty close to the artist, and uh, that leaves the door open for you to give further material to that, you know, person. That's perfect. Um, yeah, I, I, so many people, whether it's resumes in a job market like we have right now, or songs that you know people write. Um, are throwing stuff up against the wall to see if it sticks, and all that does is <laughs> gum up the channels, right? <laughs> but look, you, you better have a great song. You know, you should really know, have a great song. You know, play it for friends is one thing, but play it for people in the industry. If you don't know anybody, go to a studio, play it for a studio owner, play it for a disc jockey friend, play it for somebody, you know, and say, you know, what do you think? You know, does it catch you? How does it sound? Can you get lost in the song? You know, do you feel it uh, if you hear the song once? Do you know what the title is? I mean, we could go through the whole uh, amount of things. It's yeah. going to be a great song. You know, you're putting your name on the line. Sounds good. Um, now, uh, how do I become my own publishing company? How do you become your own publishing company? First of all, you go to either uh, BMI.com, AskCap.com, or CSAC. Dot com if you're in the United States for those three. Check them out, decide which one you think is better, and you want to download from them both the publishers and the songwriters forms that you're going to fill out and send in. Once they accept you, you know, poof, you're legitimate. You, you are, yeah. You, 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 at that point, you're a publishing company. Okay, I want to stop you right there because in the next segment, I want to talk about those three entities and what they are because a lot of people don't know what they are. Okay. So uh, let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, Ryan Michael Galloway with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com talking to Professor Pooch, 
also known as David Spangenberg. And remind me of your website, it's ProfessorPooch.com, is that correct? Uh, that's correct. All right, check out the Professor too. We'll be right back at you tomorrow night.